So it's the morning after we've put the second coat on uh, this wall, the window wall. And uh, tonight, once my husband gets home and after supper, we will be putting the curtain rod back up above the uh, window. And then we'll be moving the dresser back and we'll also be moving the desk back. This afternoon, once I get home from work, I'm going to be removing the tape from around the window and on the baseboards. If we have energy slash time tonight, we are going to then move everything away from this wall and we will um, begin prepping the wall for painting. We already spackled some holes, which is great, uh, but taping will need to happen around um, the wall and then um, like around there and stuff especially and then we will need to um you know sand and everything there's a couple of like electrical covers to remove light switch covers to remove that sort of thing this wall we're not like taping around this cupboard thing because this is going to get painted so we have to do like the edges and everything so we're going to leave this door like cracked open for a couple of days to let the sides dry properly I am really seriously considering like cutting around this and removing it and then replacing with like brand new hardware. Same with this thing. I want to talk to my husband about that just because it looks so terrible painted. It would be nice if the hardware looked nice and new. They're certainly not expensive. They're not going to break the bank. So that's kind of what I'm thinking, but we shall see. You got it. You want your roller coaster? Don't ask me about my freedom. Don't ask me about my wisdom. You want it, you need it, but why? here I wanted to use this lower shelf to showcase some of my favorite larger sort of like magical books so we've got a Brian Froud fairy book my Pamela Coleman Smith I've got this big beautiful copy of the element encyclopedia of 5,000 spells and we had the book of the great queen and then I thought I would top it all off with my little raven skull uh, ornament there, statue, whatever. And yeah, now it sort of hides the cords that are behind it. And it showcases some of my favorite, like big, beautiful books. And these sort of like coffee table style books can then sort of change out over the years as I get other ones that I really like. And I think it looks really good.
That's it. It's the last of the blue. It's gone. It looks so nice. I'm so happy with the color. Now we need to wait a couple hours and put on a second coat. Well, two coats later, guys. That's what this looks like. Now to let it dry so that we can remove our drop cloths and stuff. Oh, it just looks so good. What a beautiful, rich color. I'm so excited to see how this whole thing is gonna come together. The time has come to put light switch and electrical outlet covers back on. And then I'm going to vacuum back here because I won't get another chance to do this again for a very long time. So let's get that set up. right now what time is it uh, 6 20 on Saturday and we decided to get the cabinet doors from Ikea so Emily and I made a run out there spent an hour there and an hour back that was the fastest Ikea run I've ever made because I knew exactly what I was going for we just went into the marketplace got the couple of things that we needed went to the self-serve area got the cabinet doors, brought them home. We were supposed to go to D&D tonight, but that ended up getting canceled. So now, Neil and I are spending our time putting together IKEA cabinet doors, which actually looks like it's gonna go together pretty quickly, hey honey? Yeah, I hope so. Like the holes are already there for the shelves on the, on the bookcases, so we don't have to drill any holes. Um, on the back of the doors, they already have all the places for the hardware, so that's easy. Um, so this may actually be the fastest IKEA furniture project we've ever done together, do you think? Well, besides anything that's already put together. Well, that's one cabinet finished. Oh, it looks so good. So this one we're using for a little bit of books and then mostly it's gonna be gaming stuff. Xbox, games, Switch games, that kind of stuff. But a few little odds and ends here and there. This bookcase is gonna be entirely books, but the top like three shelves are mostly going to be for display. So some nice things in there so that they don't get wrecked. And if you're wondering what the noise is on in the background, it's a hockey game. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> uh, this is the end of a Winnipeg and Florida game. We're waiting for the Canucks to start playing. Uh, it should be any minute now. Uh, we don't give a rat's ass about Winnipeg and Florida. Sorry if you're from Winnipeg and Florida. <laughs> right, babe? <laughs> no call. Oh! I like you like, oh, I mean, like, I guess you did live there for a while, or near there anyways, so. Uh, Neil's dad was in the military, so for a while they were stationed at, what was it, Fort Sh Shiloh, that's right, Shiloh. So, yeah, I think Neil's dad always wanted to take him to a Jets game, but it didn't happen, did it? Oh, yeah, we, went to, we never went to a we to Okay. Brandon, you came. Well, maybe one day you and I will go to a Vancouver versus Jets game and we'll get to, you know, sort of channel a little bit of your dad at the same time, hey? Pay a little homage to him. Well, babe, what do you think? Looks really good. Doors. Sure makes the room look a little bit more finished off, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. What a difference. What a difference. I love it. I love it so much. 
That looks so good. Well, it's Sunday now. So now comes the either the fun part or the not so fun part, depending on who you are. Where we start to put the room back together. Bed is back where it needs to be. My macrame hanging is back. Neil's now hanging these cool wooden hooks so they sit at an angle on your wall like this. So they're going to have my hats and then on Neil's side is going to be one and that's going to be where my drum hangs. So that's both off the floor but also decorative at the same time um, for when I, until I need it. I uh, got this amazing, beautiful, perfect olive green blanket at Ikea yesterday and also got these awesome little faux sheepskin rugs. So eventually later this year we're going to be replacing the carpet in here with some vinyl plank flooring and so we're going to want something warm to put our feet on in the morning when we get up. So mine's going to be this one and Neil's is going to be this one and the dog already likes it. So you can see. <laughs> So, yeah, now we just kind of have to sort of start putting this room back together. It's done, um, except for paint curing on the shelves for a couple more weeks and around this door for about three weeks. We have finished putting together this room and it feels really good. I uh, don't mind the vacuum sounds in the background. My son is doing his weekend job of vacuuming and mopping the kitchen. Um, the cat is very happy to have her bed back as you can imagine. And we are very happy to have our room back. <laughs> Aren't we, Noir? Yeah, no more upheaval in this room, right? Yeah. Um, having the shelves, or like the, the doors on the shelves upstairs feels really good too. It just sort of finishes off that room. It takes away a lot of the visual clutter. And I'm very glad to have this done. It's a little bit bittersweet because obviously this corner over here was supposed to be my home office for working and it's not going to be that anymore but it is going to be my home office for doing our family accounting and our uh, my managing my youtube channel and everything else like that so i can't completely be upset let me know though what you think of this um room in its totality, in its finality. I am very happy with it. It feels nice and warm and comforting and welcoming to be in here. And that's exactly what I wanted for this space. It feels like a warm, naturey kind of getaway. And um, I feel like I did a good job of keeping the color moving around the room. Like there's the rust pillow in the corner to bring out the rust over here. There's the green blanket over here with the rust on this pillow that brings in the colors from over here. And I feel like I did good, a good job of like sweeping the eye around the room um, in terms of my color choices and things like that. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I do have one picture that's going to be going here. Um, it's a, uh, a print of a Stellar's J. Uh, that I got. Oh, actually, do I have it here? 
I do. It's this one. So this is going to be going over here. Uh, I had to order a custom frame for it. So it'll be going there and I'm very happy about that. It's lovely. It's a uh, local artist and I just think it's so beautiful. So yeah, that is our room. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, here's a little happy purring Tasha for you. I know.